Hello everyone. Woof woof. Woof woof woof. To you all. Uh I am going to play uh Neo Scavenger. Uh which is a, a game by Blue Bottle Games. And I saw this in early access a long time ago and people were really talking about it. And then it kind of just disappeared. And I, I'm not sure why. Because it, it, it was like a lot of other games at the time. Where it's like it gives you a free world to explore in. And like lots of like lots of stuff you can do in it. But it's hard. Like I think maybe that's the reason it's just it's so easy to die in this game. And it's just it's so unforgiving because it's, it's it's really realistic. Like if you get any wound on you, and you don't treat it right, you're probably gonna die. So it's very unforgiving. But I don't mind that so much as long as like you just play it to play. Like if you're gonna play it to be good and try to beat the game, yeah, I can see how that can be frustrating. But I'm sure there's people out there that have mastered this game. And that's all fine and well. I'm not going to do that. I just want to play it. Because I feel like I don't see uh, uh, enough people like um, enjoying this. Well, not enjoying it. But like uh, it kind of fell off the radar. I thought this would be kind of a... Like... Um, like, a, like a Darkest Dungeon type of thing. Where like it just everybody needed to do one. Because it's, it's, uh, everyone can pick, you know, like, you can pick what you want. Um, usually, for me, because I'm, I'm, I'm especially terrible at this game. But, like, uh, every time I start a game, like, when I haven't played for a long time, I'm always like, oh, I'm gonna pick what I want. Because I want to be original, and I want to have fun. And, and, and then you get murdered. <laughs> so... <laughs> What you need to do is you need to pick the things that would help you the most in a situation of, like, an apocalypse. So, um, I also realized that, um, food, water, like, you gotta worry about that. Because you're basically, you're trying to survive. It's a survival game. It's essentially what it is. It's survival. So, like, I always do botany because I need to find food. And it's so hard to find any real food. Like, I could go to, like, there's these quest objectives, and they'll have food. But it's, like, questionable. So, you like, it's, like, it's human or something. So, I usually just, like, I do botany because there's more chance of you finding not... Or you'll know what's poisoned and what's not poisoned. And that's really, really important. Because <laughs> if you don't have that, you, it, you literally could just eat poison berries. And you'd be screwed. Like, you could survive it, but it's... You're living in a world where, like, dogs are constantly attacking you. Like, and the dogs are kind of the worst enemies in this game. Because they just do not stop attacking you. And there's so many. And it's just feral dogs all over the goddamn place. It's just anarchy. It's dogs have taken over the world. And then if that doesn't happen, it's stuff you can't plan for. And like like some kind of monster or something like well, there's like werewolves or something, and then if it's not even that, it's other it's other humans, which is the worst. It's the worst because you could be doing so well, you could be killing dogs, you could be killing werewolves, you're just kicking ass because you it's you versus nature, right? Or like weird nature, and then suddenly some guy with like a uh, uh, a rifle comes in, shoots you in the head, and that's it. It's over. <laughs> you lose. You cannot even see a gun. Like I, it's so hard to get a gun in this game. A working gun. You can get broken guns. So that's what I'm saying. It's like this is like a realistic as real as it gets game. I also notice the music just stops, which is you know I would like a repeating loop because I talk too much. Anyway, um, medics good. Like medics, if you want to see how bad you're getting killed or if you got a disease. Or you're dying of something. You're usually dying of something. Eagle Eye is good to find people. Like it. I usually do this because I want to know the people that kill me. And usually it doesn't help in the end because they'll, they'll. Like I go to sleep somewhere. 
and if you don't set up an alarm, they they get you. You know, like you're 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 in their kill zone, and they're able to kill you. So it sucks, but at the same time, it's just like, what are you supposed to do? I, athletic, definitely, because sometimes you, the only way, like in the beginning, is just run and hide like a little. Speaking of hide, <laughs> like a little bitch, because you're not going to live. You have no weapons. You have nothing. You have nothing. You're just, you're just, you're just thrown out there and everyone wants you dead. It's, it's intense. It's intense stuff. Like, I'm going to use all these points, man, because you need everything. Like, uh, I would even, like, I would even, like, I'm thinking about doing something like, like, uh, fight based because range is good but you need a gun you or you need a ranged weapon like a bow counts too but unless you can make a bow and you know how to do that really quickly and right now i know for a fact i don't know how to do anything right now like i don't know how to craft or anything oh also i, I didn't mention these are um uh, like the opposite of good things bad things like, you know, D&D &D logic, you know, you can have good things, so you can have bad things, and you'll get more points if you pick a bad thing. Now, I picked some abilities here that won't make it, like, it's impossible to be both, you know, so they're like, well, you can't have that one then. Um, all these are really, really bad, though. <laughs> like, these are things that we would probably have if an actual situation like this happened. So I feel most of us wouldn't survive it. Like, um... Like, for me, it's like I wouldn't be, in reality, I wouldn't be athletic at all. I would be uh, probably the, the whatever this is, the other. Yeah, this one. Inner, in, innervated. I'd be innervated. I'm a fatty. I'm a fatty, fat, fat. So I would be <laughs> really, <laughs> really screwed. Really, really screwed. So let's, 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 let's just hope that doesn't happen. Uh, for now, um, one of these things gives you the ability to make weapons out of, like, sticks. And that's that's really important because if because you need you need to kill things it's, you can hide but sometimes you, the hiding isn't enough and you're just screwed if you can't fight so you need a weapon so I think Millie doesn't uh, it should tell you is it strong uh, these can create an obstacle. That's not what I want. Um, I think it's melee. I'm gonna do melee. All right, I used them all. I'm not taking any bad things. If, if you know, later if like guys want to see me do like you know completely screwed <laughs> run where it's like you know like there's no chance in hell you're gonna survive it, and who knows that might be the best run. But for now, I'm just trying to. So I can show off at least a little bit and not just get completely destroyed, because that it has happened so many times where I just get completely destroyed. So we're playing now. Here we are. We wake up disoriented. Um, we're in a, uh, a cry cryo sleep pod, uh, and uh, we just woke up. Uh, obviously, things have not been going well because there's broken crap all over the place. Um, there's an open door and a broken window. Um, and just as you start uh, realizing what the hell's going on, there's a, a scream erupting from beyond the hall, and it's coming at you. And it's a monster, and it's going to eat you, and it's going to make things bad. So this is where we can do something to prevent the monster from screwing us. Uh, if we just jump out the window, I know for a fact that can potentially injure us because there's jagged glass on it. And to get an injury this early is not okay, I feel. Because you literally have nothing. And like, the best you can do is wrap something around it if you can find something. So uh, I've done most of these. And um, I think this has a higher chance of you not getting injured. Or maybe like an automatic success. I'm not sure. Uh, I know this will always work every single time. So it's probably the one I'm going to pick. It basically, you just, you get some weeds that you know animals wouldn't like. And you shove it in his face. And then he goes, eh, and then he fucks off. So, and then nothing happens. So that's, that's the best case. Hiding? I haven't done hiding. 
I think that works too. I think he gets bored and runs away. And Melee, you actually fight the damn thing. And you don't like get the fight screen because there is a fight screen. But it, you, it basically assumes, okay, you win, but you took some damage because you're an idiot. But uh, it's important. There, there is a thing that happens if you do that. But, you know, I don't want to do that because I don't want wounds. Because I've done that before. And wounds suck. Sometimes it even gives you a really bad wound. If it gives you a really bad wound, well, that's in the game. I'm going to try hiding because I haven't done it before. And I want to do things I haven't done. If, and if it kills me, well, uh, what can I say? All right, so there he is. He's a werewolf guy. So uh, I'm scanning for a place to hide, and I duck behind a tank near the window. Uh, I hope the light doesn't make it uh, easy to see me. Uh, and everything smells bad, so uh, I have I, I I assume I won't be found. So I hold my breath because I know he can hear me breathing. And uh, he's sniffing the air, and he's, uh, you know, he, he's close. He might know I'm there. And then it's like, whatever, I don't give a shit. And then goes back into the hallway. And then it's gone. It's probably in the hall. I don't know if it stays in the hall. Maybe it does. I'm not going to find out, though. I'm going to search the console for records, because uh, this will tell me who I am. And I am, uh, I was in Tank 5, so I am Philip Kindred. That is who I am. That is the, the character in this game. I was put there in 2019. And they erased my data. But I do know that uh, I paid for this in the Detroit bank savings account. So uh, we're in Detroit. We know that much. We're in Detroit. We're in the area of Detroit. And all these other people, you know, they have very specific addresses and stuff like that. But I don't think we're going to be able to find them. Maybe, maybe these these are people we'll find. Although I I doubt Lloyd Blank Check is a real person. Now let's go. So that that tells us what's going on, who we are, why it even matters, and we're gonna climb out the window without sense of uh, urgency, so we won't cut ourselves. So uh, you decide to go outside and see if you can figure where you are. You know, we know where we are. We're in Detroit. Where in Detroit? I don't know. Avoiding the broken glass, you step on the sill. And outside, rustling some plants that have grown wild in the area. Uh, it's cold. Oh, that's another thing, the weather. Like, if you're not wearing clothes, like, this is how realistic it gets. If you're not worried about, like, your body temperature, like, in actual environmental area, you will die of hypothermia just by standing and, and dying. You know, like, you'll be like, I'm freezing to death because I have no clothes on intense <laughs> so like uh one of the most important things to do in this game is find clothing or well, i would even say finding shoes is more important because like shoes like right now you're not wearing shoes you need to run and there's everything's rocky and bad and and horrible outside so shoes make it a lot easier to run away from people and and just to walk because eventually you'll start getting blisters and stuff so you're not alone because we're in we're in the apocalypse, baby. Uh, oh, uh, so we we're in the parking lot of this place. We know the name of it, but everything is uh, disused into pairs. As if everything is you know a thousand years in the future. Yep. Worst of all, nothing looks familiar. Everything is blown up and shitty. So here we are. Here's the game. Uh, we are like so. Let me let me show you here. Oh, where's our? Is this us? Yes, this is this is us. So what do we have? We have, oh, well, this is on the ground. So this is the ground. All this square is the ground. This isn't your inventory. This isn't your, your, you know, your back pocket where you can stuff all your shit like Link. No, this is this is the best you can do is carry something in two hands, and if you have a bag, you can put your bag in. That's it. And right now we don't have a bag, so we can't do that. So we got two hands to hold shit. Woohoo! You know, and all we got is this, a hospital gown. You know how you know how comfortable those are. We're basically naked under this thing. I could take this off and I can be naked. It's to it's totally a thing. But right now I need any type of clothing I can get. <laughs> or or you know, being naked doesn't really help. And then we got this. This identifies who we are. 
just in case you didn't read the computer and you had to get the hell out of there. So we're like, okay, we're obviously this guy. And then we got this thing. Now, a lot of people probably would just... They would probably just leave this alone. But uh, being the idiot that I am, I was just like, what the hell is this thing? I'm like, well, that's cool and all, but it doesn't really matter. So I'll just, you know, I'll just throw it away. Like, literally, I just took it off and just threw it. Because <laughs> I didn't care. I thought it didn't matter. It's just stupid. I didn't think about it. I didn't think it meant anything. So all of a sudden, it's just like, uh, what ends up happening is if you don't have this thing, bad things start happening to you. And uh, you don't want that either because that's a different type of bad thing also it's turn-based so if you're worried i'm dying right now i'm not uh every time i move that's when i'll start dying and and you'll see here it'll, it's it's cold it is cold it is blue and i my nuts are freezing off uh, it's also raining that's another thing every time you you start this game up it's always different how everything is like the world's different the rain it's raining it's sunny it's nighttime, it's daytime, it's always different. So, at, like I said, survival. So, right now it's just the most basic of survival. We're not even worried about food or thirst right now. We're worried about warmth and, and, and weapons and living. Uh, we can go back to this building, but I wouldn't do that right away because there's nothing to gain out of it unless you have, like preordain like you played this game before so you know what to do but if it's completely new to you no it's not gonna help you so there's a town over here uh, they suggest going over here and there might be goodies so let's go see if there's goodies and this and this helps the story too because it shows hey look detroit's completely destroyed or not destroyed but you know there's nothing here it's like nobody's here everyone's gone you know Hell is, it's not really even hell, it's just everyone's kind of just not here anymore. Which is, you know, that's kind of creepy. You know, it's not even the apocalypse, it's just like, you know, everyone kind of gave up. So you kind of assume, yeah, you're screwed. Uh, so you gotta look for shit. And you don't, like, uh, so the best things are, are, of course, in locked stuff. So you want, you want locked stuff. But... You can't just beat a locked door open. So this is basically useless to us right now until we find a crowbar or a pick lock. And the, and actually pick locks are, are useless to us because we don't have the skill. So that sucks. But we can go to these houses and hopefully there's some, some, some stuff in here, right? Uh, also, your skills influence how good you and how much stuff you get like right now it's pretty safe to do this and this is very important like you think oh well you want the most stuff that's the most important and it is but at the same time i always forget well when i do all that stuff this is slowly going down and then i and then i i act surprised and i am surprised because i'm an idiot when someone shoots me in the head and it's like well you kind of didn't care <laughs> or not in this one too right it's like safety Oh, this one's like you not getting hit by something because the floor collapses. This one is people know you're there. So right now it's like yellow is is people can probably tell I'm there. But if I do that, hey, no one knows I'm here. But much, much worse chance of ever finding anything. I probably won't find anything is what it's suggesting. So, you know, it's... Do you want to be safe or do you want to actually find something? And I want to find something. I don't care if that attracts some guy with a gun. I, I need stuff. See? That, that alerted creatures. Creatures mean people too. So I found a shoe. Already doing well. The problem is if I just put this on now. Um, like right now I'm barefoot which is bad. Obviously. But if I put on the shoe. Uh, maybe it doesn't matter. Also, another thing. This is important. Shoes have a side. <laughs> I know that's weird to say. <laughs> but in most video games, they don't care. They don't care what foot the shoe is. In most, you know, games, they just go, oh, it's shoe. You put on foot. But no, this one's a right shoe. It goes on your right foot. 
So if you don't do that, the game lets you put a right shoe on your left foot. And then and then it gives you this penalty going, hey, idiot. Your foot's getting fucked up because you put the shoe on wrong. Dumbass. <laughs> it's just like, what? Oh, shit. Oh, okay then. Right foot, go right shoe. Oh, my goodness. Improper. Did I just do it? Did I just fuck up again? Is this the right foot? Yeah, I just did it. Oh, my God. So so that's an example. Yeah, it's like you're a dumbass. You just put a right shoe on your left foot. What's wrong with you? Are you dumb? And it's like, okay, all right, I'm sorry. I didn't know that we were going that that level guys it's like oh we are that level and more so i'm gonna put on some pants i'm gonna take off this nightgown now because there's actually shirts now one thing i learned very early is all the shirts <laughs> all of them uh i'm not gonna wear the nightgown again honestly i think the nightgown isn't important so i'm not i don't care i don't care about the nightgown it doesn't serve any purpose rags are very important Always take rags. Because when you start bleeding to death, you're going to be like, I wish I had something to stop that. To stop the blood from pouring from my wounds. I need this medicine, so I'm going to take that. Medicine is so rare in this game. So I'm taking it. <laughs> Tin foil, not useful right now. Uh, these can be useful, but I really don't have the space to take them. And bottles are useful when you want to like store water obviously but uh right now i don't have a specific place i want to you know camp or i want to like hide out that will happen during nighttime because you don't want to do stuff like you can still do stuff at nighttime but it's dangerous as hell which is you know come on we're, we're talking about like taking the reality of our reality and and making it a game and that's what these guys kind of did guy guys guys the team you know blue bottle they made a reality sim in a post-apocalyptic setting and that's terrifying because i know i like even with all these great traits i can't survive even for a week <laughs> and i'm starving by like day two and so uh, we're gonna keep searching i am worried that if i keep doing this dogs are gonna literally come and eat my butthole and I don't want that. But I still need stuff. So. Alright. I'm getting stuff. Look. We got a kid's backpack. Hiya poopy. Hiya poopy. We need this poopy. We need this. Look at this huge bag of chips. Holy shit. We just got a freaking huge bag of chips. Lucky. I'm putting this bag of chips in this kid's backpack. Oh my god, and we got a shiv. We need this. This is a weapon for now. Like, we can make one very easily, but still. And also, this is, yeah, this is a, this is a garbage bag. This is what, like, if you don't have a poopy backpack, uh, you can uh, use the, the, you know, grocery bags, basically, to hold stuff. But we don't need to do that, because we have a child's backpack with poopy on it. Just fine by me. And I'm taking these because these are important because you, if you want to build stuff, you need that. You need random shit. It's basically like, oh, here's some string and some rope and some twine. And here's some nuts and bolts and some broken gears and shit. So you need that. You need all of it. Yeah, like, uh, if you want to actually, like, get past week one, you need, you need to plan this stuff. It sucks, but you got to do it. Um, I do want to know... Like this, oh, so to explain, this is you, this is what you can carry, this is what you see on the ground. This is how healthy you are. So right now you don't see anything because we are perfectly fine. But the moment we get hit or we get, like I'm talking like it doesn't even have to be a, like a, a wound. It can be just someone hits you in the head and you just get, you know, you just get bruised and bashed. There's bruising and bashing in this, and that screws you up too. So it's just like cuts are the usually the worst, and these are painkillers. So usually, like painkillers will help you get away if the situation's really really bad. 
Like, you need to get out of there. You don't care you're dying. You just need to get out of there. Painkillers will stop you from being suck. Like, from, from being slow from the pain. And that that can be the... that That's life or death, right? So, uh, yeah. Like, I've had it where I've had, like, a gaping wound across my chest. And it's just like, alright, wrap it in wrappers. And hope, hope it doesn't get an infection. And yeah, infection. Yeah. It's just like... It, it, <laughs> There's no hope. It's like you're not a doctor, so uh, there's uh there's bungalows. Um, they're okay. Uh, they help me sleep, and they're an all right shelter, so they'll help me like you know, I won't be freezing to death. Like you can you can sit on the ground if you want, but that'll get you killed. Um, maybe I'll camp here. Probably not though, cause uh, there's 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 stuff all over the place. I like how the character changes. With the stuff you're wearing. I like that. I think that's important. I think that's always good. So this is the last place. Uh, people know we're here. So I will move after I'm done with this place. There was nothing even there. So <laughs> now it's time to move. Uh, in what direction? I'm not sure. Oh, also, uh, so we got four turns, basically. And then time will go forward. So that's important. I mean, time will still go forward, but it will go forward a lot more if you don't have a turn. Uh, oh, the car. The car is if you have a car. Or not just a car. You can get a car, which is cool. Uh, but um, like uh, something you can carry that's large and vehicle-like. So like a cart, uh, sleds. So it's basically just a way for you to carry more junk. You know, which helps, cause you need as much junk as you can. Especially if you want to like make like fix a car, you need everything. So you need you need carts and stuff to do that. And God, Mister Poop, hiya Poopy. All right, we're gonna move. Any dogs? No. All right, enter. Oh my God, dog! I knew it. I knew there's a, there's always a dog. We don't have a weapon. Do we have a weapon? We have a weapon. I don't think this is enough. Dogs are horribly bad when it comes to... Well, it's a frail dog. Hmm. Does it see me? I don't think I know that yet. Uh, that's another thing. You need a trait in order to even know if it sees you. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm visible, so I assume it knows what I'm talking about. All right. We're really far away from it. We're not in good cover. The terrain is tre treacherous, so if we try to just bolt, we're going to fall on our asses. I'm going to re retreat, and I think that'll be fine. No? Did he catch up? No, he's still coming at me. I don't think the dog noticed me, but now he now he totally notices me. So, uh, we're going to, like, if I do that, there's more chance I'm going to fall. So, keep running away. Okay, he's catching up. <sighs> I don't want to die already to a dog. Run. Why is it always a dog, man? Why is it always a dog, man? I ask myself. I will sprint. Yes, I will. This is going to suck. I didn't fall on my ass. Thank God. I want to desperate retreat. That didn't help. Did I fall? No, I haven't fallen. One to two spaces. Um, I want. I want to. I want to leave. Oh man, run! I fell. I knew that was gonna happen. I'm not crawling towards it. You can't get up. I think I'm gonna have to fight this dog because he is just not leaving. Uh, I'm gonna get cover because he's coming at me. Um, he's not. He's not gonna get me yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. Okay, the dog's taking his time now. Still gonna wait. Uh, I'm not dodging because he's not near me. Uh, still waiting. Okay, he's he's advancing. Yeah, he's charging. That means he's he's gonna come at me. So one more wait should do it. Yes. All right. I'm going to charge him now. 
All right. Oh, he fell. He fell down. That's good. All right. We're gonna attack him. All right. He's bleeding. That's good. Did he hit me? He's threatening me. Why did you follow me if you're threatening me? Stab him. <laughs> All right. We're doing good. Oh shit. Uh, my weapon just broke. But I think we're doing all right. He's just threatening me. He's not he's not attacking. I kinda of feel bad now. If I if I run maybe he'll not follow me. Yeah, he seems to he seems to have Yes. Okay. Alright. I didn't really want to kill him because he seemed to be not dangerous and now I kind of feel bad <laughs> I love animals damn it <laughs> uh, I mean I am a dog come on you can't you can't kill you kill your brothers like that it's anarchy it's anarchy uh well there we go first uh first combat uh first close first experience and yeah it's all going well for, for now, uh, I mean, I guarantee you all it takes is just one guy just coming out of nowhere, pow, dead. But uh, I'm going to end this here because I think uh, this has been a good intro to this game. And um, we'll see how long this lasts. Probably not that long. But maybe. Um, it's always interesting because it's always different. And it's always interesting to see how you react to something you can never never predict or expect like the story mode is easy to predict because it's n it never changes as far as i'm concerned like it's always in the same spots you always can get over there like it, the world's different like the terrain and all that but the, the where they are always the same so if you if you just want to try and rush story mode yeah i can i can do that but uh I need to survive. I want I want long term because survival is the most important thing in this game. Like story mode doesn't even matter. Like later on, I'm gonna have to worry about my food, my hunger, sleep's gonna be a problem. You know, right now my like I'm st and I'm still cold. I'm still cold. Probably because I don't have another shoe. I have two shirts on for God's sake, and I'm still not enjoying this Detroit weather. I don't know. It's I don't know if it's winter. I think it's. I don't think it's winter. It'd be snow everywhere. But yeah, um, thank you for watching. And uh, I will continue this series in the next episode. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Later. Later, Gators. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say that more. Because I like, I like the sound of that. Later, Gators. Later.